<laughs> yeah, well, I, I'd like to hear a little bit more about like the the character. Like, I'd like to explore him a little bit more because he's like, uh, you're talking about like he can't. He's like craving that love, that like expression of like like overwhelming love initially. That's what he yeah. And and does he does he get there throughout the song, or does he or is he just faking it to faking it to make it? No, the, he wants it. I think it's him just discovering, like in himself, like uh, pining over it. You know what pining I mean? Like, like, holy shit, thinking like, I want that. And then in the second verse, it kind of seems like he makes it and he gets it. But in the grander scheme of the season, he gets it. Yeah. But just, in the song, I mean, maybe he doesn't at the end. It's like, where is she now? Where you know? is she now? But yeah. if, you were to look, if you were to look at the whole season, he gets it. And then in the second one, he has it. Well, anyways. A version of it. <laughs> We've got a version of it. And <laughs> then the... Telling too much. Anyway, and then the last one he ends up, um, they, it ends. It's like you have to have that arc. Yeah. This will end terribly. You know yeah, what I mean? like yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It can't be happy ever after. It's a dad bod song. <laughs> it's a dad bod song. It's not happily ever Come on. after. Yeah. yeah, there's always a twist. But <laughs> but yeah, man. And that's. Sandra is fucking sad boy. It is. There we go. Sad boy <laughs> folk. Sad boy. Disco sad boy folk. folk. <laughs> that's why we have disco folk to offset the sadness. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm trying, boys. I'm trying to be happy. I'm I'm happy. No, in that real song's life. super upbeat. I find it yeah. super upbeat though. Like yeah, with yeah. that I mean, faster rhythm. Like I said, my mom likes it because she's like, "Oh, that's a lot more upbeat than Sweet. the other one." Good, yeah. And then that's I. It, yeah, you have to fucking go through a lot of. I wrote a lot of crap. Like I know you guys are like, "Oh, they're good songs," but like I see the problems. You know what I mean? So now I'm kind of seeing where I can go differently to avoid those problems and and get more out of my melodies and stuff. And that's what. Well, when it comes out, check it out. Let him know. Let him know. It is. Yeah. That's growth, though, man. That's songwriting yeah, growth. Each time. And, like, yeah. I, I can't even say, like, I hear it all the time when some of the stuff that I follow, like, trying to learn about songwriting and all that sort of stuff is like, you got to write all the shit out of you first. Yeah. Like, you got to write it out and then you can learn as you're doing that. So, you're going to have a bunch of shitty songs at the, at the beginning. And then, as you, as you go through your journey, you're going to eventually, all that shit that you started with is going to kind of be, be, be left. You know what I mean? Not that the early stuff is shit, but like you wrote songs since you were like 19 well, years old. Yeah. Well, not back, even like right? 16 years old. Yeah. Yeah. Music, a lot you know of I mean? people would use those and just mix it all yeah. together, right? And make a song out of them all. Yeah. Some people will do that. But, but like, but if you, if you only have parts, right? If you have parts, like, yeah. I'm the type I have to complete. If I start one, oh, not always, but if I'm working on a song intensely where I like, I'm in it, I have to finish it. Even so if it's you shit, I got to finish it. a melody or a melody and then you write? Every song is different. Sometimes I'll just hear a, a, like a, my dryer, my washer was doing a sound and I'm like, I could hear it. I put my phone on and I started just kind of singing to it and I have it recorded. Shit like that, dude. It's That's just 2025 20, singles right there. Though. Yeah. <laughs> the ready, but then now that I have that, I'll sit there and I'll listen to it and then I'll get a guitar part. And then How it do starts. You get your lyrics? I hum, I hum. Yeah, but how do you hum your lyrics? How well, do you the, know what you the want actual, to write about? The actual... Then, then once I have the thing, I what feeling am I getting? Like, there'll always be a nugget. There'll be like a, I'm not going anymore. So and then I'm like, that's what I'm... And you'll, you'll kind of base that from there. It might not be a hook. It might just be a line. It might be a word. It could be... That's the thing. It's, every time is different. Every time is different. But when Incel, it started with all the stars in the sky. And it was yeah. just... My daughter came over, was talking to me, and I was just kind of humming, and then it, it, it popped in my head. And then I, I'm like, oh, and I grabbed my phone, and I, like, Boop, and I sang it, and I turned my phone off, and I talked to her. And then whatever, we, it was like a half hour later, I went back and listened, and I was like, oh, that's pretty kind of, that's kind of weird. It's like a, almost, it's a different kind of melody, and I'm like, I should do something with it. It's so different. It needs to be made. And then Joey had that idea with the beep. Yeah. That's where it started. Because that, that, I remember beep. that, that, that that tone that you guys were using and yeah. you, at one point it was going to go through the whole song right yeah and then and you decided to dial it back just to have it more emphasis in certain parts of the song yeah. i think that was a smart move because the way it lands now is super impactful so when it's there yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I, and, and it was supposed to grow not be like it was going to start like with that beep and grow from that beep but then as i came up with the stars in the sky all the other shit started to come and i'm like okay maybe i'll go down th this path and i'll keep that as like an accent like as something we come back to sweet yeah yeah but you guys thought of that first though because i showed up and you're like myron myron let me show you this you're gonna love this i was playing with shane and then you showed me and i'm like i love that and then we pitched it up by four mm -hmm. semitones that's yeah. what it was i think yeah, yeah. yeah that's cool that's cool a little bouncing ideas around there and then yeah that's and th there was finger picking before there was weird like all kinds of shit i forgot and that normally that means it wasn't good you know yeah yeah fair yeah. enough so if i forget it, it it's like yeah. yeah get the fuck out of here anyways but yeah